Hey everyone, have a hair brand of it on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be doing our full breakdown and some fun little team builds for the EZA LR Janemba. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So this one was a surprise for me. I mentioned the LR Dokkan Festival exclusive um, Super Gogeta wasn't a surprise. I predicted that, but I should have predicted this as well being that uh, this would coincide with that Gogeta easying along with this as the first this is the first dual category key plus four 170 per, or 150 percent uh, LR that's the current meta that we are in in yellow coin LRs and this is the first one that has easy aid and turn into 170% leader skill um, The stats here is 23,000 HP almost 20,000 in attack and then 14 7 8 8 for defense I'll make this a little bit bigger like I mentioned before being the first ever dual category key plus 450% easy a um, makes me think now, okay, what are some other ones that are going to skip over the remaining 130%? I believe there's like four left in terms of the 130% LRs. But yeah, we're right now moving on up to the 150% LRs, and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see what is next. Now, the 12 key super attack here, great. Uh, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage to the enemy, and greatly lowers defense. The uh, 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to the enemy, and massively lowers defense. The passive skill here is key plus six, attack and defense 166%, guards against all attacks, that's unconditional, and another unconditional reduces damage by 22%, and then launches an additional. Uh, attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack for one turn from the character's entry turn I'm not sure why they just did it for one turn here uh, Being that uh, you're not stacking or anything it would have been just nice to have this um, For the entirety of the battle plus an additional key plus two up to six key and attack and defense 66% up to 166% and a chance of a form of critical hit up 22% <laughs> up to 66 percent with each attack performed so at least you're going to get one ad additional attack here um guaranteed so that's going to beef up this right here where you're going to have to uh do what three attacks right this is not super attacks just three attacks in total and you will and you will max out this buff here so guaranteed two in the first turn of the character's entry turn if you can get the additional off in a in, and proc that uh, then this should you know be all maxed out after one turn plus an additional attack a 66% when key is 22 or more and a plus an additional damage reduction of 22% as the first or second attacker in the turn and then greatly launches an attack and has a great chance of becoming a super attack as the second or third attacker of the turn so if you want to get three attacks off and really boost this up right away after the first turn here you want to put yourself in the second or third position that basically gives you that great chance of an additional super attack, um, but you'll get a guaranteed attack there. So the thing is, you really want to actually run this unit as second position because not only that you get this additional um, attack with a great chance of a super attack here, you also get the 22% damage mitigation along with that as well. So best of both worlds in the second position. If you're in the first position, you only get the damage mitigation. If you're in the third position, you only get the uh, great chance of a super attack with the additional attack there. On top of this, we have great chance of nullifying key blast super attacks uh, directed to the character, which is very powerful here. And then a high chance of evading enemy attack temporarily when receiving a super attack. Um, very, very powerful. Again, you want to run this in second position or first position because there's extra damage mitigation with guard and 44% um, defense. And once you built up completely, you can probably tank a whole lot of, uh, of uh, strong, strong attacks here. So, um, however, however, you do also have this active skill rage mode just in case you do want to defer your, your, um, your turn. And this can be activated when HP is 66% or more starting from the sixth turn of the battle. So link skills here, big bad bosses, shocking speed, metamorphosis, brutal beatdown, fear and faith, fierce battle, legendary power, and it's on movie bosses, transformation boost, exploding rage, corroded body of mind, accelerated battle, and uncontrollable power. 
Sorry, I had a cough a little bit there. So once you go into rage mode, uh, you do get a little bit of buff as well. So under the rage mode here, you have greatly raises attack temporarily, causes destructive damage to enemy, and uh, temporarily performs a critical hit. 18 key uh, massively raises attack temporarily, causes destructive damage to enemy, and then temporarily uh, performs a critical hit as well. Uh, passive skill here uh, changes all key spheres into physical key spheres plus an additional key plus two per key sphere obtained and then attack 16% per key sphere obtained which is very strong overall because you have the attacks that get boosted up to 65,000 and then on top of that you do have um, you know you're you're not damaged at all right so this is rage mode like giant form things of that nature and um, yeah you know it's just there just in case uh, you are in a tough situation now the thing about this unit unfortunately it, it's on teams currently right now that are kind of full so this is going to be kind of a amazing bench unit that you can have at this moment in time so i'm talking about the movie bosses team like where are you going to put this unit now if you don't have cell max boom perfect second position is where you want to put this unit anyway and um, this team works out really well there um, if you want to do it that way, or if you have Cell Max, you can just go ahead and move him into the floater position. It's crazy that you're going to move Cell Max into the floater position, or you can just uh, maybe just bring him back up here and then move the uh, the, the the other Broly down the float. But you know, movie bosses is just so strong right now. You can just move these in various different positions. This Genema can go really anywhere. Um, again, if you're running in third position, you're not going to get the damage mitigation, but that should be fine. Um, so yeah, very, very strong either bench unit, you know, secondary floater unit, or second position. First position, I, I on this team in particular, you don't really need a first position unit. Um, you know, especially if you have like Cell Max here. But again, if you don't have him, you can substitute him uh, with the Easy Age Janemba there. Now another team that you can run is of course Uncontrollable Power. Um, this is going to be very similar right if you're running this team here with cell max uh you can just then easily change this up in here now you are running in first position here i might change that up right you know you depending on where your um attackers are you might put broly in the first position um because again you're gonna get that additional attack with a great chance of super attack in that second position so but again he's still fine in first position as well with the guard and the 44 percent damage mitigation with the boosting of, st of stacks um, not stacks, but uh, stats. Um, but yeah, I, I think these are the teams that would be very fun to use. Now, you can run it on the Super Bosses team as well here because of Transformation Boost. Um, but I didn't run those slides for some apparent reason. So, but again, it, you're you're filled up with Broly's. And Janemba is just a nice addition. It's filling up a spot that you might not have a unit in there. Um, so, like, the ultimate, you know, bench unit uh, if you have some of these other amazing units as well. So, again, some of you guys don't have some of these units, and he's a great substitution. All right, let's go ahead and talk about, then, the Extreme Z Battle. So, Extreme Z Battle, uh, Janemba is week two, Connected Hope. So, I figured, okay, great, let's go ahead and look at some Connected Hope teams. Um, so, if you easy A the, the uh, Super Gogeta, right, if you easy A him then uh, you can run a full connected hope lr team no problem i just put i just threw in you know a beast um threw in lrggt future gohan uh spirit bomb gt and piccolo on that team there's a few other units you can run as lrs on that team there as well um so just of course just search under connected hope run the gogeta in the uh, leader position and then grab a friend and you should be good to go um if you don't have him, and this the funny thing is, I don't know why I put him in here. If you don't have him, right, you could run two LRGGTs, and that would still work extremely well. Um, again, up to you and deciding on, on doing that. I, again, I should have took this guy out, give do the fact that he, if you if you have him, you're just gonna run him here. Um, anyway, so I did put in Future Gohan. You did put in, I did put in the Super Saiyan um, uh, LR Go Crew. Uh, Spear Bomb GT again. I ended up putting here is both Spear Bomb units, 
but you can run other units again as well because he is power of wishes so these two units here aren't super saiyans these are power of wishes so for example power of wishes you can run piccolo on that on this team here as well as long as you're running for example um a future gohan because piccolo does need a uh, bottom master and disciple to go ahead and activate his passives so and then finally you can run a superheroes um team here along with bottom master and disciple these two here are bottom master disciples not superhero but uh these are all connected hope units here as well with beast gohan piccolo gamma one gamma two um and then uh not beast gohan makes a lot of sense to run that team uh, through and through so I think it's pretty easy I, as you can see I'm bringing a lot of str units as well because of uh, Janemba being physical uh, Makes a lot of sense to do so so yeah This is pretty much the teams that either I'm gonna be bringing or using one of these I'll probably just end up using the Beast Gohan team um, or if I easy a the connected hope um team with the super gogeta i'm gonna run that as well so anyway hopefully you guys uh, benefited from this and uh yeah hope, let me know how you guys feel about the janemba and if you're new to my channel uh, like subscribe comment below do all that good stuff thank you all for watching keep on doconing we'll catch you next time later